Hi everyone, uh, so this is my first video on my new camera. Um, I hope it comes out okay. I'm really excited to use it. I'm hoping um, that the quality is going to be a bit better. I was kind of embarrassed about how crappy my old camera was in terms of video recording. It was really good for taking photos, but when it came to my camera it was just crap. Um, so today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. Um, I got quite a lot of requests on my last video um, to do how I do my up bun, um, my big bun on top of my head. And so I, not that I get a lot of requests for videos because I've only just started, but the only requests I've had are to do um, a bun tutorial. <laughs> um, so I thought I would do that for you guys. Um, I'm not sure like how it's going to work or if it will come out right because my hair is not very predictable, is it? But I will see how I go and hopefully... Um, it'll help you guys and um, so the few things that you need to get started are obviously a hairbrush I just use a regular hairbrush I always comb my hair through first I find it's much easier um, to get it in the way you want it if you if you give it a comb first um, now I have my hair has grown quite quickly recently but before I had really quite short rubbish hair um, and it wouldn't it was a bit fickle and wouldn't really do what I wanted it to and but I could still achieve this look with shorter hair so if you have short hair then this will probably work for you too um, the other thing is a comb I back comb my hair to get the bun how I want it to look so that's how I achieve it um, a donut need one of these bad boys um, you can pick these up in Primark for like a pound if that. Um, if you want to get a more expensive one that's a bit more robust, you can get them from like Boots or Superdrug. And then just lots and lots of curvy grips or... Is that going to focus? See, I don't know what I'm doing again, do I? Curvy grips, you know, grips to pin the hair. And then some accessories if you want. So... Um, this is going to be really difficult because I'm going to have to do it in the viewfinder so apologies if I'm not always looking at the camera. Um, first thing I do is make sure my fringe is down and um, sometimes I have it all pinned back but if it's just been washed like it has now um, I like to have my fringe down. So I just make sure that bit's down and any side bits that I want are down too. I then gather it all in just a messy ponytail, it doesn't need to be neat, so that's not really the look I like to go for. Um, just to, obviously, I forgot to say any things you'll need, obviously you'll need a hairband or a scrunchie or whatever you want to call it. Some people like to be colour coded but I'm not that organised. Um, and then just put it in quite high ponytail and just pull it tight. And then grab your donut. God, I look like such a plonker doing this on the camera. Ugh. Wrap it round. And then what I do is pull my hair forward. I look like cousin it, don't I? So, like, you can see that all of the um, donut is covered, so you can't see any of it. And then I just grab... Oh, my God, I look ridiculous. <laughs> just grab each section of hair. Let me see if I can do this. And, like back comb the inside of it so grab like the front bit up and just back comb it down on obviously this is going to look absolutely ridiculous in a minute but you're just trying to get it so it's got a bit of volume in it and I just do that all the way round hope you can see this okay And so it's quite a quick process obviously it'll be quicker the less hair you have just make sure it's all kind of like thick and so it won't look much different it'll just look a bit fatter and then I go from my right hand side um, and grab the hair and just pull it round the donut okay and then you have something that looks 
then what I do is grab my curvy grips and just place them around my head just to make sure it's secure because otherwise obviously it's all going to fall out and just look like you've got a massive pineapple on your head not that this looks much better but hey you guys want to know how I get it so and then you'd, I use about seven because I need quite a lot to keep my hair kind of in place and then what I do because I don't like it being like to my head I grab the sides and just if you can see just pull pull out bits and then some of your curvy grips might come a bit loose then so I just pull those back in and then if you've got any accessories or anything I just kind of place them in I'm using these lovely little floral clips mm -hmm. from Crown and Glory um, I did actually write a blog post dedicated to one of their headpieces. I just absolutely love her stuff. I think it's so, so cute. And it's all handmade, so it's lovely. Um, I think these were just a couple of pounds, which is fab, because they can just make it stand out a little bit more. And then that, folks, is that. Um, I then would just kind of like hairspray it, um, just to keep because my fringe like tends to get in the way just to keep my fringe in place spray all around and see I told you it wouldn't do what I wanted it to do when I'm filming and that is that messy bun done so I hope you guys found that helpful um, it's really easy, it's such a quick jobby. It took me a little bit longer because I couldn't really see what I was doing. I'm used to doing it in the mirror, so looking in the viewfinder is obviously a bit tinier. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, if you want to see any other kind of tutorials on anything, um, then let me know. Um, I'm going to do a haul next. I've been shopping, hmm. Um, so I will do that next, it's Primark haul. So if you guys like Primark, that will be coming up shortly. And yeah, um, any other requests, comment below. And I will link the blog post below for Crown and Glory's website because you guys really should go and check her out. She's amazing. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.